Hey everybody, Rob back with another drawing video. Um, last video I did was uh, Batman. Um, I got some requests. I actually got three requests for different characters. So that's kind of cool. So today I'm going to start off with the very first one that I received, um, which is another DC uh, superhero and uh, best friend of Batman, which uh, can you guess? Pause it here, comment below if you think you got it. Uh, but I'm actually going to be drawing Superman. So um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to be using a 0.5 uh, Pentel pencil, Twisty Race GT pencil, just a pencil, mechanical pencil. Uh, nothing special about it. Um, and I'm going to use that just to do my sketch first. So. Um, I wasn't really uh, sold on which kind of pose to give him, so uh, we're going to try to figure this out together. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and block in some shapes. Uh, Superman has a very square head, so let's go ahead and do, uh, start with the basic shapes. Uh, he has a very square jaw because he has a big old chin. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, maybe we do... A cool kind of like pose kind of like this where he is kind of chest out this way all right so you want to draw this rib cage all the way through and since the center line is coming down this way I'm gonna cut down down the middle that's gonna give us an idea of where the opening to the rib cage is and these are just basic shapes obviously the, the middle his chest area is going to be like a circle, um, but if you look at a skeleton, uh, you have like this, your rib cage actually comes up like this, um, something like that. And you have, this I believe is called your sternum, and the ribs actually connect to your spine back here. So your spine is going to be back here. Um, oops. So we're just going to draw in some shapes for his pecs. Superman has a uh, very big muscles obviously so we're just basically blocking those out right now very broad shoulders so we're gonna draw some sh circles where the shoulders will go um, and those look pretty big huh Superman's pretty pretty beefy um, and then uh, let's go ahead and draw some cylinders for his arms out this way it's gonna come off the paper all right so now we have his side over here let's go ahead and draw another cylinder right here um, that can be the rest of his body here all right so now we have very very basic uh, shapes for Superman uh, yeah there we go. Um, all right, so Superman is a very strong person. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And again, this is all of our, this is our under sketch. We don't have to worry about having anything perfect here. Um, other than shapes, we're just building our foundation for our drawing. Um, so that when we go in with our actual inks, uh, we know where all the lines are going to be. So, I think this is probably good. Um, if you look at your own shoulders and your arms, you have uh, where your armpit area hits your front pectoral muscle. And that's kind of what we're going to try to capture here. It's kind of hard to do, uh, for me at least. And you're going to bring that into your, your shoulder muscle like so. Um, this is probably all going to, some of it might get covered up by a cape. Uh, your pectoral muscle actually goes into your, under your arm like that. So we're just going to have this go up in this way uh, and just create a shape. So it's kind of like a, a rectangle sort of, and we're just going to have another one here. And this is your collarbone right there. And let's just go ahead and do another one of these shapes. And uh, it is a muscle, so it's going to have a little curve to it. So we're going to have this curve in here. Um, and then rest on that part of his body. Do the outside of his muscle of his uh, rib cage here. Um, we're going to bring this part of the rib cage in. I feel like that might be a little too wide for Superman, so I'm just going to bring this 
side there. And then he has his, his very uh, muscular arms. I don't know anatomy all that well. Well, actually at all. I don't claim to know it at all. Um, so I'm just going to block in his arm here. Um, on this side, his actual muscle, um, you're going to see the inside of this here on this side of the arm. So let's just go ahead and do his shoulder. We have the same sort of shoulder thing here. We have a muscle in the front. That's what we're going to see on this side, but it's going to be covered since it's behind the pectoral, since that's the direction that we're looking at him. Uh, the chest is going to be in front of the arm there. So let's go ahead and do that. Still going to try to block in the arm a little bit. You're going to see the back of the arm here. Um, and this will actually feed into the, to the uh, forearm. And uh, we'll just do a little circle like that. Um, Superman uh, does have a cape like Batman. So um, we'll get to that in a second. We just, just want to get down these basic shapes in his body first um, before I do anything else because Superman is so hard for me to draw for some reason. He's so plain, but I think that's probably what it is because he's so plain. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the face and do some of these facial features. Of course, we all have a skull in our head, right? Um, so let's break this skull down. Superman has like a weird proportion, like the most part of his face is like the upper part up here. Um, and he has like this big bottom jaw just because he has like, it's so muscly. Uh, he has a big square jaw. So we're gonna try to make his jaw down here. What I wanna do is uh, identify where I'm gonna put his mouth. So let's go ahead and draw like a skeleton face here. And that's kind of where I wanna try to place uh, all the, the information. All we're doing is giving ourselves a little bit of information on where things are gonna go. Uh, so if his eyes are there, his ears are gonna be over here. Um, somewhere around here, oh, this looks creepy. Uh, somewhere around here is going to be Superman's eyes, right? Um, there's going to be a nose here, um, some eyebrows, and Superman definitely has hair. So what we want to do is attach the hair, not attach, but draw the hair around the skull. You never want to start doing the hair first until you figure out what the structure looks like underneath. So I feel like we got a pretty solid structure here going. Um, so what I want to do now is go ahead and um, start doing some of the, turn down my light here. It looks like it's a little bit bright. Uh, I want to try to draw in, sorry about the noise uh, in my apartment. You can hear the neighbors when they use their uh, garbage disposal. It's kind of, kind of annoying, but you know what? We live with what we got, so we're not going to complain. Um, if that's the worst thing they're doing, then I'll live with it. Um, so what we want to do now is just try to shape in some of the things. Now Superman has his Superman, his logo, his crest, whatever you want to call it, right across his chest. Um, it is the hardest thing in the world for me to draw for some reason. So I'm going to do my best version of what a Superman emblem looks like. Um, if you can do it better, great. Um, maybe that's one reason why I'm not a big fan of Superman. Um, because I can't draw his his chest emblem all that well. It's never proportioned properly, um, but it is kind of like a diamond. Um, and what I like to do is um, just go ahead and shape it out. This S comes straight across in the middle, um, and then it comes back around like this. So let's go ahead and shape that out. And then when we come in and do our inks, we can figure out where everything is going to go and how to color it, um, or at least ink it in so that it makes sense. Um, it looks like an S, right? <laughs> it may not be a perfect Superman S, but it's, it is an S. Um, Superman's uniform, um, he, he's all in blue basically um, his cape tucks into his collar and comes out like this so that's what we're going to do here we're going to drape it over his shoulders kind of like we did Batman a little bit um, that way we don't have to worry about drawing the tops of the muscles art hack for you 
cover things and you don't have to draw the whole thing. Um, this is actually going to fall like this. We'll do some more cape coming out like that. Coming out this way. There we go. Maybe we flare it out a little bit so it looks like it's it's out there in the wind or something. Just got to make sure that you're understanding that the cape is coming over the shoulder and out towards the back. Um, okay, so that looks like a solid base for Superman. What I'm going to do now is get my eraser and um, try to lighten up some of this pencil because I have a lot here. I'm going to take some of it out of... Oh no, not the whole paper. Some of it out of here um, because it's a lot. I went really heavy with my pencil. Um, so what I want to do is try to go back in and try to do some of these this facial features because I felt like I didn't really get in there and, and do it the right way. So there's nothing wrong with erasing. Uh, erasing was one of my biggest things. I hated erasing. Um, I thought that I have to draw everything perfect the first time and if I don't, it is garbage. It's garbage drawing. When in reality, uh, you're never going to draw things right the first time. So don't even try. <laughs> uh, unless you are you have some... Unless you have the gift, you're probably not going to get it right the first time. Um, and it's very hard to do one-shot drawings like that uh, perfectly uh, without being a professional. Uh, I am nowhere near being a professional, like I stated before. I barely know what I'm doing right now. Um, and uh, I'm very much an amateur. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I watch my favorite comic book artists um, when they do their live streams or they put videos up on YouTube. It's the best way to learn. Um, um, at least that's how I found the best way to learn how to draw, how to learn anatomy, um, things like that is from watching people and uh, getting books. I didn't read a lot of art books, but I like to look at the pictures. Um, so that's really how I learned. Uh, my dad was big into comic books growing up um, while I was growing up. So I used to read a lot of his comic books and uh, yeah, just been a fan of superheroes and, and comic book style art from a young age. All right. So I feel like we have a decent looking uh, Superman here. So what I want to do now is go ahead and grab uh, my Micron .005, and this is my super thin pen uh, that I use uh, whenever I'm doing my ink. So I'm just going to go in here and start with the eyes. Uh, Superman has what they call very, very kind eyes. And uh, I don't really want to arch his eyebrows too much because arched eyebrows kind of look intimidating they look menacing um, also I have a smile here I don't know how it's gonna come out um, and so I want to try to make him look as friendly as possible I don't know if I'm gonna achieve that or not but I'm gonna do my best and that's all we can ever do um, all right, so I got some eyes here. I don't think they look bad. Um, go ahead and draw in a nostril here and a nostril there. And then I'm just gonna do a line like this to, for his nose. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's there. Do some little lines here for some eye wrinkles. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do something with his hair. Superman obviously has his curl so let's make sure we get that in there first and then we will establish where the rest of his hair goes so I'm not the best at drawing hair uh, obviously I'm not the best at drawing period but I just like to draw um, hair is one of those things that um, you probably need to practice it a lot to get it down perfect and you're probably never gonna get it down perfect um, my suggestion is to just look at life look at pictures and just draw what you see um, and that's the best way to do it in my opinion um, it's really hard man like I don't know it's not an easy way to do it 
Uh, what I want to do here is I'm not going to draw a straight line across um, to show Superman's smile. I'll give him a little cleft chin. And the reason for that is you can probably tell um, that he's smiling by his, hopefully by his eyes. And also the, uh, you get the idea that his, that he has a point at, at the ends of his mouth there that are curving slightly upward to indicate that he is smiling. So uh, I don't think that there is a need. We want to, you don't have to draw every single line. Um, and that's one of the tricks with drawing hair is if you just drew some lines, kind of like how I'm doing here, it kind of gives the idea of hair uh, and it tricks your mind into believing that there's hair there. All right, so let me go ahead and draw this neck here or ink in the neck for Superman. And get these. Uh... I think we're good on the thin marker. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a thicker marker. Uh, so I'm going to, or a thicker pen. And I'm going to grab my Copic Multiliner 0.5 pen. Um, it is a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know if it'll show up in the camera here but you can see that one nib is bigger than the other way bigger than the other and it should give us a thicker line um, doing thinner lines in the face obviously uh, you want to do that so you can get more detail in there um, and it's fine to switch at any point if you have a really light hand which i do not you could probably get away with using the 0.5 through the entire drawing um, I just myself I cannot do that I have a very heavy hand and uh, I will end up having ink everywhere thick lines throughout the the piece and it'll just be bad so here we go shoulder in there let's go ahead and get a indicator of a muscle there Here, yeah, big old bicep, big old Superman bicep. Uh, I think that's a bicep. And we're here just saying things. And that sounds like a muscle. I know it's a muscle. I just don't know if that's it there. Get here, ribs down here. Um, rib cage coming inwards there. And if we want, we can do a little bit of rib cage action down here. Superman also has his muscles here. Uh, you'll see a lot of comic book artists draw these muscles in. And then they'll throw some shadow under this area. And we're going to do that, but I'm going to get a thicker marker for that. Uh, you can tell that I am trying very hard to avoid the S right now because I have no idea how I'm going to do it. And that's fine. Um, Again, it is one of the more difficult things for me to draw myself, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of time and just get the inks down for this. And uh, I might just come back to it later. There's nothing wrong with coming back to any something in any art piece that you're doing. Just set the pencil down. If you if you're getting frustrated by what you're drawing, I do it all the time. Um, I'll just put my pencil down and walk away because I'm, I'm getting frustrated. I don't want to get frustrated by art because it's one of the things that uh, I like to do to relax. And uh, sometimes it does get frustrating because things aren't coming out the way that you want them to come out. The most important thing is to just take a deep breath, uh, step away and uh, do, maybe do something else and uh, come back to it and you'll have a fresh perspective, a fresh mind. And uh, you might be able to finish your piece without any problems. All right, so I'm going in. I'm doing it, guys. Man, all right. Um, I'm going to pick up the picture and turn this sideways. So remember I was telling you in the last video um, to move your paper around uh, so that you can move your hand properly. I'm, since my the way that my setup is, I can't really do that. Uh, I'm going to move the paper to try to help me out and I already don't like the way this is coming out but you know what we've come too far and the cool thing about 
shaping this out early is that I can see where um, the S is and I can just uh, go around the edge of it kind of like it is in the comic book this come around here one of the more interesting things that I heard was from one of my favorite artists his name is Jim Lee um, he said this little section right here kind of looks like a fish so you have the round part and then you have the fish tail right here I thought it was pretty funny um, and it kind of does all right, so I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to thicken this part up because that kind of comes straight across this S part. Kind of comes straight across. I'm going to come in, do a little bump there for the S. Do a little triangle down here for the S. And I think we, we might have done it. I think we did it, guys. I think we nailed a Superman S. And what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and draw a line to show Superman's abs of steel he is the man of steel so obviously he's gonna have some abs of steel um, give the ink a second to dry um, and then I'm gonna go in here and get my kneaded eraser which is this guy I'm sure y'all seen it before and uh, I'm gonna erase or pick up some of this lead and what I, you know what I'll do right now is just I'll go ahead and just press on it hopefully I can lift up some of the lead and uh, not smear the ink. Hopefully it'll pick up the ink along with it. You can see my eraser is turning colors here. Um, so let's just stretch this out a little bit. Oh, it popped like gum. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna go in here and do an actual press on there, kind of like I would a normal eraser. And this is a great thing, parents, if you're watching, uh, to get for your kids. Again, I think these are only about three bucks for a two pack or something like that. And they can use them at any time. You can use them in school if they're drawing and it doesn't make a mess. You, you get no pencil shavings or eraser shavings. Um, so you don't have to worry about that getting everywhere. Okay, so, so we can see here now that I've erased the pencil, he still has a smile on his face. You can still make it out. But what I wanna do is go ahead and go in uh, with my pen again, my, my 0 0.05, and maybe add a little bit more to that. Maybe get some teeth in there or something. There you go. See those little little tiny details um, add a lot to your picture. So obviously Superman is a big strong jawed person. So let's go ahead and do some lines here. Make his chin pop a little bit more. Um, let's give him some more eyebrow. I feel like this eyebrow may not be big enough. Do some more shadow underneath his hair. Make these lines a little bit thicker. Because they are very thin in comparison to the rest of the image. And what we want to do is anything that's kind of like underneath that would cast a shadow, we wanna just go ahead and try to thicken that up a little bit. So like under here in the bottom of the lip, that's your little area underneath your bottom lip, it usually has a little bit of a shadow. Uh, we don't wanna to put too much shadow in his eye area, just because uh, it kind of, when you do that, it makes the character look a little darker. And obviously Superman is not a, an evil character or a darker character, um, but he will have obviously shadow underneath his chin um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to, I'm going to uh, go in with my thicker pin, uh, which is a uh, zebra brush pin, and uh, try to add a little bit of detail underneath the chin to show where there would be some shadow. And I'm going to come out right here because his muscle's so big. It's Adam's apple. On this side, so we've established that light is coming this way. So let's go ahead and drop some shadow over here. Maybe thicken this line up a little bit. Make this line a little bit thicker in comparison. Uh, drop a little more shadow behind this little curl of the cape. More up here, definitely some back here along the arm. And right here, all right. Throw some back there, here, 
right here underneath his arm and we, again we don't want to make Superman look too dark just because he is a he's a light um, in the in the movies they made his sim, his symbol the recent movies uh, mean hope and he kind of is that in the comic books he is uh, the Earth's strongest hero uh, not mightiest because that's the Avengers uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some shadow in here uh, along these muscles Probably, you know sometimes you're gonna draw things and you're just gonna end up covering them up covering them up and that's just the way it goes sometimes um, and then the muscle here is going to probably drop a little bit of a shadow. And that's okay. Um, it's going to happen a lot. Like you saw with our underdrawing, we erased all of our pencil. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's just the way art goes. You're going to start off with a lot and uh, you might end up with a little. You might end up with way more than you thought you were. And that's okay too. Okay, so I think that might be good enough for uh, a Superman drawing right now. And what I am going to do is try to at least do some simple colors uh, just to keep the video semi shorter. I'm not going to color the entire thing, but I have a uh, Sharpie fine point pen. What I want to do is just go in and color his, uh, his cape in the background red just to make it pop out a little bit. Ooh, it sounds horrible on this thing. Sorry about that. It's very scratchy. This is the thing that I don't really like about uh, Sharpie markers is that they're very scratchy and obviously they smell because they're permanent markers. So um, if you have a child that wants to draw with them, just be aware, they're gonna be very strong. And when you put them on the paper, um, they tend to, ex oh man, they uh, got a little bit of red on his arm there they tend to spread so the the paper will soak it up and it'll it'll go out of the line sometimes so you gotta you just have to be aware that that's probably gonna happen and uh adjust what you're doing before you start putting it in there just know that okay if i if i try to color all the way to the edge it's just gonna run out of the edge so just be aware of that um, you can use different types of markers. Uh, I like to use alcohol-based markers um, in my other in my actual sketchbooks that I have. Um, I've done a few drawings in those and posted them here on the channel. Um, you can see those. I think I did Wolverine. Uh, I drew a Michelangelo, a Leonardo. I like Ninja Turtles, so you're probably going to see more Ninja Turtles in the future. Oh. If you have a, a favorite, let me know and I'll do my best to try to draw one for you. Um, put that up on the channel. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and try to go in and color the S with this marker as well. Hopefully I can do it without going out of the lines and not mess this up. I would color the inside yellow, but yellow doesn't show up all that great on this orange post-it note. So I'm not going to do that because it, it looks weird. It looks like a green brownish color and you know, just it just did not look right so we're gonna end up with just some red here uh, for Superman and I was gonna color the the background like a just solid black like I did with Batman but you know what that's not cool let's give Superman does have blue eyes um, and let's go ahead and just draw Ooh, no this you know what this blue looks horrible but we've already done it so we got to commit <laughs> Sometimes you will make mistakes like this, everybody. And uh, you just gotta live with them. They're happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say. And so I'm just going to color this in and probably not do the entire thing like this. I'll just, I'll just do a top part here and maybe do a little bit on the other side just to it stand out a little bit I, I could go get my chisel tip marker and do the blue you know what I am gonna do that guys just hold on one second while I dig through my markers okay I'm back my markers weren't too far from me so I'm just gonna grab my chisel tip marker and I'm gonna go back in here with this really dark blue oh it's very dark 
hopefully it'll dry up and look a lot lighter. Um, but we are going to go back around with um, the gel pin just to make it pop. I, just, I might as well have just used the black marker for this. Because this looks just as dark as the black marker. Oof, and the smells coming off of this thing. Again, if you are going to use permanent markers to do your drawing, make sure you have a nice airflow. Maybe crack a window. Um, make sure you're in an open area. Don't expose yourself to the fumes. It's not worth it. And again, guys, I just want to reiterate, you never have to be perfect with your art. These are just quick sketches. Um, one thing that, again, that I had to learn was you're never going to be perfect. You're never going to look like somebody else. It's never going to look like somebody else's art. So don't put that much pressure on yourself. Just uh, start drawing and you might find your own version of Superman, your own version of Batman uh, in the way that you like to draw them. So, um, yeah, don't, don't try to be perfect with it. Uh, okay. I think this side might be a little dry and this gel pen always fights with me every single time. So here goes some sketches that I was trying to do of Superman. Just going to use this to get my pen flowing here. All right. Yeah, sometimes you got to do thumbnails to figure out what kind of drawing you want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have a sketchbook, uh, I used to only think I can only put finished pieces in my sketchbook. I don't want to sully my sketchbook with incomplete drawings or, or things that aren't going to look good, but that's the whole point of them. That's the whole point of a sketchbook is to have that stuff there. In, in it so that you can get better. So draw on anything that you can find. If you have a sketchbook, don't be scared to put uh, your drawings in there because that's what it is literally for. Um, all right. Um, if you have any questions, I think that's all I'm going to do as far as coloring goes. I didn't really like the blues that I have or else I would color it with this blue. Um, with this permanent marker, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. This is a, just a quick sketch. Uh, everybody, if you're drawing along with me and you drew your own Superman, uh, I'd like to see it. Just use the hashtag CRGR rocks on Instagram and I will see it or put it in our discord under the drawing room, the drawing board <laughs> chat, and uh, I'll check it out in there. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, hopefully you learned something. And uh, let me know who you'd like to see me draw next. And thanks for hanging out. Bye. That's going to wrap things up for us here in the CR Game Room. Check out our website, crgr.rocks, for all our latest info. There you'll find a link to help support us via Patreon. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join our conversations on Discord. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always... Thanks for hanging out.